welcome everybody to our FBO coverage of the 2021 Resistance Discs Open powered by Discraft. This is a DGPT Silver Series event as well as a PDGA sanctioned B tier tournament here at Trojan Disc Golf Course in Rainier, Oregon. Today's coverage is brought to you by our sponsors Sky High Smoke and Accessories in Medford, Oregon. And of course, above ground level discs. Head to AGLDiscs.com to check out their plastic today. We are Young Kelso Commentary. My name is Cameron McKinley, and joining me today is the wonderful Kelsey Hansen. And without any further ado, let's hop straight into these six sided discs player profiles. Up first, Deanne Carey from Shelby, North Carolina, throwing for Innova. Second on the pad, Cat Merch from Rosebud, Arkansas, also throwing for Nova. And last but not least, Brittany Questenberry from Grants Pass, Oregon, throwing for Heiser Dyes Disc Golf. And here we are at hole one, 422 foot, par three. Uh, what are you playing here, Kels? Leopard up the left side, pitch up, putt. Left to the left side, way more open over there. Uh, oh, I yeah. feel like being in the trees over here makes it a way harder upshot than it needs to be, especially when you have that nice, big, open, uh, like fairway all the way up to the basket on the left. And Deanne is leading the division by 12 strokes. She had uh, an insane round yesterday with her 982 rated round, I believe, which is her career high for her. Could have even been higher, might have been like 984. I'm really bad with numbers. Cat taking the right side. Oh, early tree. As long as you're across the water though, I feel like that's the biggest part. Woo. Works it around the outside and gets a pass the trees. Ooh. Maybe circle two? Kind of having a great look on that right side. Oh, same look as round one. Gonna be out in the left, or on the right in the bushes, just a little bit. And a clean par there for Brittany. Good start. Ooh. Maybe a little slippery out of the hand from the rain. It definitely was coming down. It doesn't really look like it shows it that much right now in the coverage, but it was raining pretty hard. Yeah, you'll see as we go, it, uh, it gets worse and worse as the round goes on. I'm sure yours too bad, so. You were uh, experiencing it just as bad as we were. And hole two, the infamous Dave Feldberg hole, 243 foot, par three. Uh, I would say the gap off the tee pad is quite a bit more grown over than when Dave threw it. Yeah, the, definitely could use some trimming on that tree there. Um, still totally gettable. I think somebody did ace it this weekend. Really? Uh, okay. MPO side last day. I'm not sure who though. That's crazy. Oh yeah, you can see the rain a little bit, especially in the uh, the lake down there, the pond. You can see it really coming down on the water. She's gonna be a little bit to the left there. Safe. Oh, cat's coming up the hill. Birdie. birdie. Solid birdie. I feel like this is one when you like almost have to birdie. Yeah. And a solid bird there from Brittany Questenberry. 
and Catmart's going to tap out her par before we head over to hole three. Three hundred and forty-three foot par three. This is a very narrow fairway. You do not want to be in the water on the right or up on the road on the left. Uh, also, just the whole left side is pretty uh, rough. Rough, definitely rough. What are you throwing here on the uh, hole three? Amy Lewis Tour Series Magnolia. 100%. Nice AGL discs represent. You know those guys. Just turns over to them. That is definitely the easiest mistake to make. Yeah, I feel like, regardless of how rough it is on the left, playing into the bushes is way the safer play. That's nice though. Yeah, even middle. catching some cabbage, it looked like, off that tree branch. I feel like the ceiling is way lower than I've seen it in coverage from years past. Jack trying to keep the camera dry. Looks like it slipped out of her hand just a little bit there. Yeah, this hole averaged almost a full stroke over par for the ladies. Dang. Yeah, this is a really tough hole. Um, especially with the rain. It's harder. I feel like it's a lot harder to get your disc to leave just perfect to get that nice straight flip up when uh, it's so wet. We had a really tough time keeping the cameras dry. Great up shot. There you go. And that's picking up strokes right there. Damn. Nice par, very nice par. Staying in the lead. But yeah, that is a uh, tough three. Definitely feels like a birdie. That's an interest. I wonder if there's a female that's ever birdied it. I know it is gettable. Like, it is gettable. Right. But you have to hit your line perfectly. And... And we're back at hole four, 320 foot par three. OB in all of the water, of course, and also to the right of the path down there. I think it was path, path and right. Path and right, you're right. It goes back and forth out here at Trojan, so it, it is uh, hard to keep track. Another narrow fairway. Oh yeah, you can really see the rain coming down now. Oh, right over. And that's a good rip from Brett. Yeah. Oh, and a little low. The cut rolls back to the middle. Nice upshot there. Great birdie from Brittany. Great two. I feel like twos were hard to get on Sunday. This rain really uh, made things tough. Not that Trojan isn't hard enough already. <laughs> Good comebacker. And a tap in par there for Cat Merch.
Hole five, 601 foot par four. Uh, just want to get it up here in front of these bushes so that you can have a nice, easy pitch across the water, which uh, is way harder than it looks on this flyover at least. Yeah, the, those bushes at the end right there are pretty tall. So if you get too close to them, mm -hmm. you're going to have a hard time getting over. Or if you're too far to the right side, you can see it's way lower down there on the left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And that is something I forgot to mention. The flyover of the parking lot is going to be out of bounds over there. She almost hit Jack's car, actually. OB in the parking lot. OB on the left side. Um, there's a painted line down the fairway. Yeah. Um, She's going to be safe there, though. You can see the line kind of running across the walking path. Still a lot of room to work with out here, though. Yeah, I think the left side up by the bushes is where the preferred landing zone is. Mm hmm Right where Brittany just pitched up to, where you kind of want to be in one. Yeah, you can see how the bushes are shorter on the left side. That is well played across the water. Oh, looks like it's turning over. I think that was a star strike from Dean Carey. You see, the spotter had actually left before we got here, so I was uh, helping spot before I took off with the round, the first nine memory cards. Great, great up from Cat. And then even though Deanne did go, you know, quite a bit right, that is at least the if you're gonna air the way you want to air. Yeah, you want as, as long as you're on the island, or the, I guess it's a peninsula, but. Good throw there from Britt. <coughs> Good run from Cat. Nice putt to close out an unfortunate bogey there for Deanne after getting stuck in those bushes back there. And a great par from Cat Merch. Double bogey for Brittany after going OB. And uh, yeah, you can see just how wet it is. Ducks are loving it. Or I guess they're geese. I don't know what they are. I think there's a mix of them out there. Hole six, 292 foot par three. Uh, this one is going to be out on this uh, peninsula and it slopes down right to the water on the back side. And uh, also, you definitely don't want to be in these black bushy, blackberry bushes over to the right, because those things are deep. Oh, that's got to come back. And that's out. She threw really far, though. That's left side, safe. Yeah, that's a pretty solid play. If you can get it to hang over the blackberry bushes and get back down, oh. A little too far to the right. That thing is still spinning though. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, sit down. And that's another challenge with this hole. Yeah, you gotta perfectly match that angle up there. Great throw. Ooh, good run from Deanne. Gonna have a little little uphill comebacker. Yeah. Trying to keep the disc dry. <laughs> or at least dry enough.
Good par. And bogey for Brit. And we are going to take a quick break here for a word from our sponsors. And uh, again, you can just see absolutely dumped in rain. The path to the top is often long and difficult. With many hills for you to climb and obstacles to overcome. And at times, the journey may seem never-ending. But why stop before you reach the top? With a little hard work, determination, and some help from your friends, you too can reach the next level. Above ground level discs, elevate your game. And hole seven, 388 foot par three. Uh, gotta get across the water here or you're heading to the drop zone. And uh, other than that, gonna be OB along the bushes all the way on the left and uh, the driveway on the right. And the water carry initially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I believe there's OB behind it quite a ways, too. That's a rip. Good throw. Great throw from Cat. Solid grouping there from the ladies. Oh, tough. That's hard with OB so close to the basket. You can see here uh, the live camera crew, one guy had his hand up. They lost their radio connection to the booth back in, uh, I believe they're in Wisconsin, and they lost connection to the booth, so one cameraman still had a connection, so he had to use hand signals to tell the other camera guy when he was on or off for the live feed. And Deanne's still in bounds here. A little bit of a tester with the rain, though. Nice par. I think Cat was holding the camera or the umbrella over the cameraman just there. That's nice. Very nice of her. And a book for Brent after going OB just 15 feet from the basket. And a bogey four for Cat Merch. Hole 8, 291 foot, par 3, going to be OB anywhere on the road along the right side of the fairway or past the uh, little wall down there um, with the Pro Tour signs on it. Uh, other than that, no OB on the left, but you definitely don't want to be in the woods at all because you are not going to have a look at the basket. Yeah, not a fun time. Not in those bushes either, lining the fairway on the left side. Um, fun fact, this was the only hole for the women to play par all weekend. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. I, I really like to play off of the road if you get it far enough. We saw some ladies on our coverage get it out that far, and then they got a bad anti-skip and stayed just like an inch in. But I think that's a really fun play. It's a little harder to do when it's uh, rain pushing you down the whole time, though. Oh, great bit from Brittany. Just right. She nailed that putt in round one. Great birdie from Cat March. Yeah. 
Brittany Questenberry is probably just as good from a knee as I am standing up. Definitely got that dialed in. And a nice, easy birdie putt here for Deanne. There she is. There she is. Probably trying to stay dry. <laughs> Solid two there for the leader. And the last hole of the front nine, hole nine, 593 foot par three. There's a Mando on that tree with the ivy growing to it to the right, as well as a drop zone just past it. Other than that, you wanna work your way left around this corner and uh, hopefully maybe stay out in the open is the safer play over here where we're flying the drone, but I do see a lot of people just trying to throw through the woods on the right to get to the basket, which is where Jesse is standing because someone had stolen the basket on Wednesday or Thursday, so they decided to lock it up every night instead of leaving it out. That might be a favorable kick, depending on how she wants to play that. Yeah, that's uh, out in the open and well past the Mando. And then she could... It looked like she was closer to that road to throw that high... Oh, what a beautiful that was shot pimped. from Kat. Kat was so excited about that. She's been trying to hit that line all weekend, and that was her best throw by far on this hole. Yeah, beautiful shot. Be up in the trees, but she should have looked down the lane for it. Oh, cut rolls off the side of the hill. She's gonna be right down there by Brittany. Is Cat gonna do the hyzer off the road? Looks like it. Pumps it out over. It's gotta stay around the trees. Oh, that's good. Shall have a look for a bird. That's great. That's how you play the hole. Ooh, late tree, but that was a great throw from Brittany. She'll be inside the circle. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just a little bit outside. Oh, what a bid. Off the top. Brittany Questenberry knocking down the par here. Catmerge stepping in her par after two really great throws. And a bogey for Deanne. And that is gonna do it for the front nine. Taking a quick look at the scorecards, you can see uh, Deanne Carey is gonna be two over. Cat Merch and Brittany Questenberry are both gonna be four over par through nine holes. Um, it The weather is making it so tough to score out here today. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard to, throw when you can't get a grip on your disc. Yeah, and I feel like uh, every time someone like goes to dry it off, it's just replaced right away by more water. Make sure to follow us on social media at BW Pro on Facebook and Instagram and do all the YouTube, YouTube stuff while you're here on our YouTube channel. Uh, we will catch you guys in just a few moments with our back nine coverage of the final round. Stay tuned.